Many of us think that the discoveries that could change human history are all behind us already, but far from it. The subsequent discoveries have the potential to have a lasting impact on our knowledge and reorient our view of human history. Are you fascinated by mysterious things and archaeological discoveries? Then give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Hidden Worlds, and join us on our journey. The Strange Sarcophagi of the Chachapoya Never would explorers have guessed what they would find inside a six-foot statue when it plunged down the Peruvian cliff in the Utcubamba Valley in 1928. The sculpture was a sarcophagus containing a carefully wrapped mummy. Its discovery was only the beginning of the fascinating story of the Cloud Warriors. As more of the sarcophagi were found, they became known as the Purun Machu, the Warriors of the Clouds. Although looters had reached many of the sarcophagi before archaeologists, several Purun Machu were discovered intact, hidden high up on the rocky outcrops. The Chachapoya people, commonly known as the Cloud Warriors, lived in the cloud forests of the Amazon region of what is now Peru as early as 200 AD. The Inca culture conquered the region shortly before the arrival of the Spanish. It took only about a decade for the Chachapoya people to lose most of their cultural traditions after the Inca conquest. Then the arrival of the Spanish decimated what was left of the Cloud Warriors. But their story is fascinating. Escrick Ring In 2009, Michael Greenhorn found a unique gold ring near Yorkshire that was adorned with a sapphire. Experts who recently examined the Escrick Ring in York now believe it likely dates to the 5th or 6th century, not the 10th or 11th as originally thought. They also suggest that the ring was made in Europe, possibly France, and that it may have belonged to a king, a leader, or a groom, rather than a bishop as previously thought. The wear on the ring also suggests that it may have initially been a brooch that was later transformed into a ring. The sapphire in the ring was likely cut earlier, possibly during the Roman period, but the ring itself was made specifically around the sapphire. Considering the wear on the ring, it's believed that it was worn for at least 50 years before it was lost. The Great Goddess of Teotihuacan among the many mysteries surrounding the ancient Mexican metropolis of Teotihuacan, one is particularly difficult to crack. How did its inhabitants use the many signs and symbols found on its murals and ritual sculptures? The discovery in the 1990s of the enigmatic red glyphs, most of which are arranged in neat columns, has led a growing number of scholars to question the long-held view that writing did not exist in the city, which flourished from about 100 BC to 550 AD. Much is unknown about the civilization that inhabited the ancient city, including what language the indigenous people spoke and whether they developed a writing system similar to that of the Aztecs, who ruled the area some eight centuries later and revered the ruins. Experts have discussed several theories for the glyphs. They concluded they could represent symbols used to learn to write or names of subjugated tribute-paying cities. They may even be signs used in rituals to cure diseases. In any case, the glyphs are mysterious. Giant Dinosaur Bones The thigh bone of a giant dinosaur was found by French paleontologists at a dig site in southwestern France, where the remains of some of the largest animals to ever have lived on land have been excavated since 2010. The two-meter-long femur at the Anjac Chahant site is believed to have belonged to a sauropod, plant-eating dinosaurs with long necks and tails that were common in the late Jurassic period more than 140 million years ago. This is a great discovery, said Ronan Alla, a paleontologist at the National Historical Museum of Paris. I was particularly amazed at the state of the preservation of this femur. These are animals that likely weighed 40 to 50 tons. Incredible, isn't it? Massive Triceratops Skull David Schmidt, a geology professor at Westminster College, had just arrived with a group of students for a fossil dig in the South Dakota Badlands in the summer of 2019 when he received a call from the National Forest Service. A rancher nearby had discovered a strange object sticking out of the ground. They wanted Schmidt to take a look at it. One of the very first bones we saw in the rock was this long cylindrical bone, Schmidt told St. Louis Public Radio. The first thing that came out of our mouths was, that kind of looks like the horn of a triceratops. 
After authorities gave the go-ahead, Schmidt and a small group of students returned this summer and spent nearly every day in June and July excavating the skull. One difficulty was the skull's gigantic size, about a meter long and weighing more than 1,500 kilograms. The skull likely came from a Triceratops process, which lived about 66 million years ago on the territory of what is now North America. Baby Shoe from the 14th Century Some time in the 14th century, a very fashionable toddler lived in saint jean Switzerland. The child had tiny beautiful shoes, intricately decorated leather boots with buttons and buckles. Archaeologists discovered fragments of this well-preserved and frankly charming artifact during an ongoing excavation of an ancient town in the Swiss canton of Jura, according to a report in the local Switzerland. After spending the last seven centuries in the groundwater of a large wet depression left by the Doub River, the baby boot emerged from beneath the cobblestones in the eastern part of Jura's old town. Archaeologists quickly brought the boot to Markita and Sergei Vulcan, who are shoe specialists at Lausanne Shoe Museum, according to a statement from Jura Cultural Office. The Vulcans identified the boot as a particularly rare find, joining the ranks of only five other known shoes of similar design previously excavated in Europe. Mysterious Egyptian Artifact a veterinarian swimming off the coast of Atilt, Israel, discovered a 3,400-year-old Egyptian anchor decorated with images of the goddess Seshat and other hieroglyphics. The anchor, shaped like a trapezoid with rounded corners, has a large hole near the top that can be tied with a rope. The artifact is believed to be from a large ornate relief that came from a temple or royal precinct, as indicated by the mark carved into the stone. Experts believe that the limestone slab was trapped in the sand until a storm brought it closer to the surface. What stands out most on the limestone slab is the image of a woman writing on a table. This is the goddess Seshat, the ancient Egyptian deity of writing. Seshat had temples built specifically for her, but was also seen etched into the walls of other shrines. She is known as the divine scribe, librarian, record keeper, builder, and mistress of the House of Books. Mega Predator A 240 million year old fossil has shown that dolphin like ichthyosaurs could devour animals nearly as large as themselves. It's the first direct evidence of mega predators, a large animal eating an animal its size in the ancient world. Ichthyosaurs were marine reptiles that lived during the time of the dinosaurs. The fossilized ichthyosaur in this new study was uncovered in a quarry in southwestern China. It's a nearly complete skeleton, about 5 meters long, with the bones of another marine reptile, a thalatosaur, preserved in its stomach. The thalatosaur was about 4 meters long and more lizard-like than the ichthyosaur, with four paddling limbs. The bones found in the ichthyosaur's stomach correspond to the thalatosaur's midsection, from the front to the rear limbs. The stomach contents of our ichthyosaur were not attacked by a stomach acid so it must have died fairly soon after eating," says study co-author Dr. Ryosuke Montani, a paleobiologist at the University of California, Davis. A fascinating find. Maya Slave Ship Archaeologists in Mexico announced that they have identified a ship that transported Maya peoples into slavery in the 1850s. It's the first time such a ship has been found. The wreck of the Cuban paddlewheeler was found in 2017, but was not identified until researchers from the National Institute of Anthropology and History reviewed contemporary documents and found evidence that it was the ship La Union. The ship had been used to bring Mayans captured during an uprising known as the War of the Castes from 1847 to 1901 to Cuba to work in sugarcane fields. Slavery was illegal in Mexico at the time, but operators of similar ships have reportedly purchased captured fighters or deceived Mayans made landless by the conflict into signing on as contract laborers, often in Cuba where they were treated as slaves. The La Union was on a voyage to Havana in September 1861 when its boilers exploded and it sank off the once important port of Sisal in the Yucatan. Institute archaeologist Helena Barber Meinecke said Sisal residents have passed down the story of the slave ship for generations, and one of them led researchers to the vessel. The Mysterious Stone Spheres of Champ Island 
The spherical stones on Champ Island in the Franz Josef Archipelago in Russia form a cosmic landscape that seems out of this world. Perfectly round rocks are scattered all over the island as if they were growing out of the ground. Melting glaciers expose the surface of the island. The size of the rocks varies from a few centimeters to a few meters in diameter. Due to the influence of strong wind, water, and low temperature, many of the stones have lost their round shape and look like cobblestones. The origin and formation of the round stones has not yet been conclusively determined. Geologists visiting the island have their own theories as to how they may have been formed. The greatest discoveries in the world of archaeology have long been a thing of the past and can be attributed to the turn of the 19th century. Or can they? Are there still undiscovered treasures out there? And is the time of the greatest archaeological encounters just beginning? Get ready for some groundbreaking discoveries. Vessel from the 15th century Workers found an ancient barge 30 years ago when they were deepening a pond in an apple orchard and their tools hit a wooden structure. The owner of the orchard acted immediately and called in a team of archaeologists. They revealed a flat bottom barge from 1481, typically used for transporting goods on the Vistula River in the 15th and 16th centuries. The find was a sensation, not only because it was so well preserved, but also because it's one of the largest examples of these vessels, measuring 31 meters long, 7 meters wide, and 1.5 meters deep. The barge was found near Chersk Castle in a pond that was likely part of the Vistula River before it changed its course and flowed further east. In fact, it was this change in the river that caused the Dukes of Mazovia to abandon Chersk Castle and move to Warsaw. Dr. Wojciech Brzezinski of the State Archaeological Museum underlines the importance of the find. The ship was sailing on the Vistula in the time of Christopher Columbus, but it is 9 meters longer than his ships. Mysterious Paintings Rock paintings 10,000 years old depicting UFOs and aliens have been found in Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh, which may indicate that aliens from other planets have interacted with humans since prehistoric times. The fan-like antenna and three legs of a vehicle clearly show a resemblance to a UFO-like object. The former central province of India, now Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh, was the site of pre-agrarian human settlement even before the Great Tectonic Plate Movement. The paintings were discovered in caves hidden deep in the dense jungle near Charama in the tribal region of Bastar. A group of anthropologists have made a startling discovery of intricate prehistoric cave paintings depicting aliens and UFO-like spacecraft along a similar-looking wormhole formation in the sky. The paintings are in natural colors that have barely faded despite the many years. The oddly carved figures are seen holding weapon-like objects and lack clear facial features. In particular, the nose and mouth are missing. In a few images, they can even be seen wearing spacesuits. The newly discovered depictions date from about 10,000 years ago. Golden Lozenge of Stonehenge Stonehenge, the prehistoric monument in Wiltshire, England, is famous all over the world and even today, it is a place with a mysterious charm. The monument is made of huge megalithic stones, some standing, some stacked on top of each other, all many millennia old. A lesser-known discovery uncovered at the iconic site is the spectacular and curious artifact of a golden lozenge found in the tomb of a presumed chief or high priest near the circle. Could its grave goods have astronomical significance? The find is not too new, having been made in 1808 by British archaeologist William Cunnington. What Cunnington found was an extensive collection of artifacts that have been called the crown jewels of the King of Stonehenge. Could it be that a king had been buried near the circle? The find was made at a large Bronze Age burial mound just a half mile from Stonehenge, now known as Bush Barrow. But the tomb is close enough to the circle and within the large complex to suggest that its positioning cannot be a coincidence. Stone Circles in the Brunichel Cave the French Brunichel Cave attracts many researchers because two stone circles were found there that were built more than 170,000 years ago. 
researchers have no doubts that these mysterious circles were made by people. The main material is parts of stalactites and stalagmites. To make the circles, about 400 parts were used, which were joined with fire. More than 170,000 years ago, Neanderthals lived in the territory of today's France, and no one but them could complete this task. The unusual circles in Brunichel Cave are quite complex constructions and prove that Neanderthals were more intelligent than modern science assumed. Unfortunately, we still do not know the exact purpose of the stone circles. Lost Submarine The Turkish Navy has found a sunken German submarine from World War II during the production of a documentary film. The U-23 submarine was found at a depth of 40 meters and about 4 kilometers off the coast of Ava in Istanbul's Şile district. The U-23 was part of a series of six German submarines designed to attack Soviet ships in the Black Sea. According to the report, researchers discovered the U-20, another submarine from the same fleet, off the coast of northern Turkey in 2008. Nicknamed Hitler's Lost Fleet, the U-boats had been transported 2,000 miles overland from Germany during World War II to attack Soviet ships, then abandoned as the war neared its end. Over two years, the Lost Fleet sank dozens of Soviet vessels in 56 engagements, losing three of them to enemy action. Ancient Aboriginal Site Scientists studying an ancient Aboriginal site in Warrnambool in southwestern Victoria disagree over whether charred rocks and weathered shells are 120,000-year-old evidence of Indian life. If the discoveries on the rocky headland called Moijil prove to be as old as some scientists believe, they would forever change the global understanding of human migration. Researchers from several universities have been studying the site for years, and with the latest research on hold due to the coronavirus pandemic, it could be some time before a definitive conclusion can be made about whether Indigenous Australians inhabited the site more than twice as long ago as previously thought. In any case, famed Lake Mungo geologist Jim Bowler is convinced that the evidence found at Moijil indicates that people cooked and ate at the site 120,000 years ago. Ancient Greek Tomb This 3,500-year-old Greek tomb challenges everything we thought we knew about the roots of Western civilization. Archaeologists had been digging for days to break down the cream-colored rock-hard baked clay until what began as a collection of stones just visible in the earth became four walls in a neat rectangle. Over the next six months, archaeologists discovered not only bronze basins, weapons and armor, but countless more valuable items, including gold and silver cups, hundreds of beads of carnelian, amethyst, amber and gold, more than 50 stone seals carved with goddesses, lions and bulls, and four stunning gold rings. It was an ancient tomb, one of the most spectacular archaeological discoveries in Greece in more than half a century, and the researchers were the first to open it since the day it was covered up. Weapons Graveyard Archaeologists excavating a centuries-old cemetery have found a number of rare tools and ancient Polish weapons, including an amazingly well-preserved sword. In 2019, archaeologists excavated a field near Bejce in the Świętokrzyskie Wojewodeship in southern Poland and discovered a series of ancient warrior graves containing four iron swords and nine spear or javelin points that were 2,000 years old. A press article in Poland at the time described these artifacts as heavily corroded and seemingly shapeless. The newly discovered swords, in their excellent state of preservation, are a valuable archaeological find that offers insight into the design and shaping of ancient Polish weapons during this period. They also discovered several women's graves with hand tools. Among these artifacts were brooches and tools used to make and repair clothing, including a richly decorated spindle with stripes. The find is unique due to its large number of artifacts. New Spider Discovered in Russia what do you think people are more afraid of, guns or spiders? According to statistics, people are more afraid of creatures with many legs and many eyes. For those who are afraid of spiders, I have some bad news, so feel free to skip ahead now. 
Recently, scientists have discovered a completely new species of the so-called wolf spider, the mere sight of which can frighten the manliest of men. But rest assured, if you run into a wolf spider, you might not even notice it, as the larger species grow to a maximum of 3 centimeters. They usually live in grassy areas and damp forests, hiding in piles of fallen leaves and in places covered inside with a thick layer of spider webs. Wolf spiders usually feed on small bugs and also like to eat flies and insect larvae. They lead a solitary lifestyle and crawl out of their shelters only at night. They too are afraid of becoming victims of predators. Production of Beer 6,000 Years Ago Ancient amphorae show that 6,000 years ago, the Chinese experimented with two different methods of making beer in their search for the perfect alcoholic brew. The nine Neolithic amphora shards found, used back then to transport beer, wine, and grain, were studied by researchers at Stanford University. They found remains of prehistoric beer, as well as evidence of two methods used by brewers of the time to brew beer. The methods were done separately and may also have been combined to produce different types of alcohol. One method used by the Yangshao people of Dingkan was to use malt made from sprouted millet, grass seed, and rice to make light alcoholic drinks. Another used Q, moldy grass, and grains to make stronger varieties. Gold and precious stones have always held a fascination for many. Haven't you ever dreamt of finding treasure and becoming rich in one fell swoop? Over the centuries, great riches have been discovered all over the world, and they were not always precious metals or jewels. Some recent finds are even very strange, and at first glance do not appear valuable. Unique Treasure of 500 Coins Workers removing the rotten floorboards of an old church near the town of Kosice in Poland came across a ceramic jar filled with 500 coins. The treasure had been under the floor for more than 300 years after being hidden there by a priest. It was discovered during the renovation of the church, which included the entire structure. The boards were removed because they had warped due to the weather. The silver coins were in an ancient pottery in a secret chamber under the wooden floor of the Church of Our Rosary Lady. Finds of ancient artifacts or documents from various eras are not uncommon in cathedrals and churches. However, the discovery of these 500 coins is special because the story that led to the placement of the vase in the secret chamber was clarified shortly after its discovery. Scientists searched archives as well as other objects for clues and came to the conclusion that the priest hid the coins when a civil war was raging in the region at the time. Researchers are certain that the silver coins were donated by local residents and dated them to the 1700s. Nazi Treasure Trove Nazis captured the royal castle of Nova Sanche and the town of the same name in Poland in June 1941 and set up barracks and an ammunition depot. A few years later, the Polish military blew up the castle, after which only the outer walls and a defense tower remained standing. Eighty years after the occupation by the Germans, Stanislav Pustulka found a rusty box on the site of the 600-year-old castle. The poor condition of the Nazi treasure chest gave no indication of what lay waiting inside. The box was filled with silver cutlery and tableware, which had Poland and Austria as the country of manufacture. The amount of items left the discoverers excited, as no one expected to find 103 pieces in the rusted old box. Archaeologists are concentrating further excavations in the area of the Nova Sanche Royal Castle and are exhibiting their finds in the local museum. Shipwreck Back in 1802, the British ship Mentor, carrying antiquities from the Acropolis, sank off the island of Kithara. The two master, bound for England, had just left Port of Piraeus and was on its way to Malta. On September 15, 1802, a storm caused the ship to run into the rocks of the port of Avlamonas on Kithara and very quickly sank to a depth of 23 meters. All passengers and crew members were rescued by the Anikitos. Investigations in the area around the shipwreck brought new findings to light. No parts of the stern of the Mentor could be seen, but instead, personal belongings of the crew members were found. According to the Ministry of Culture, these were glass bottles, ropes, buttons, and other small belongings. Ongoing investigations have allowed experts at the Mentor's keel to obtain new information about the ship's place of origin, suggesting that it was launched in America. 
Previous underwater excavations focused primarily on the hull of the Mentor and obtaining information about cargo, crew, and passengers. Since the 19th century, fragments of an Egyptian marble inscription have been recovered, which are believed to be parts of a statue of the pharaohs. The exhibition of the inscription in the British Museum led to a dispute with Greece, which demands the release of the artifacts. Treasures from Tutankhamun's Tomb Archaeologists from Tübingen, Germany, as part of a German-Egyptian project, had the opportunity to explore minted gold artifacts that surprisingly reveal a connection between the Near East and Egypt during the time of the pharaohs. The artifacts come from the famous 1922 discovery by English archaeologist Howard Carter and were previously stored at the Egyptian Museum Cairo. All artifacts were photographed and packaged after their discovery. In painstaking work, the researchers succeeded in assembling the individual fragments and restoring 100 gold appliques almost completely. The finds, which are decorations for bows and quivers, were categorized by restorers from the Roman Germanic Central Museum in Mainz and successfully assigned to the canon of finds from the Middle East. Among the images are, for example, goats of the Tree of Life. These images are not found in Egyptian art, but come from the former Mesopotamia and eventually found distribution in the Mediterranean region. These treasures from Tutankhamun's tomb are evidence of the role of ancient Syria in the spread of culture during the Bronze Age. Quartz Crystals from the Swiss Alps Findings of quartz crystals made the Swiss Alps famous all over the world. They were shaped by the development of cracks in the rocks during the late phase of the formation of the Alps about 15 to 20 million years ago. During this process, the quartz crystallized through minimal rich solutions in the cracks in the rock. Depending on the type of composition of the rock, the colorless crystals called quartzites or the darker smoky crystals called granites were formed. Special treasures are the almost black morions and the very rare amethysts. The value of quartz crystals is based on size, luster, and the arrangement of the crystals. Brothers find a gold bar Two brothers, aged about 10, found gold when they were building a hut in the garden of the family home of Vendôme, France. To do so, they needed sheets, and upon asking their father, they were able to take them from the guest room. When the two lifted the sheets, two heavy objects fell out, which they didn't even notice at first, thinking they were knife holders belonging to their grandmother. When the brothers mentioned the find to their father, it became clear that they were gold bars. To confirm the authenticity of the gold, the local auction house was contacted, which removed all doubts about the authenticity. Each gold bar weighs one kilogram and could fetch a price of at least 40,000 euros each if auctioned. The brothers handed over their find only after their father promised to build a pool. Ancient coins found in Shanxi While working on a construction site in Baishui, northwest of China's Shanxi province, a large number of ancient coins were found, most of which experts attribute to the Song dynasty. When the archaeologists reached the site, they were confronted with a site of 100,000 coins weighing a combined 460 kilograms. Most of the coins date from the Song dynasty and only a few from the older Tang dynasty. Zhao Zhangfeng, director of the Bureau of Cultural Relics, said few people owned such a large number of coins, and initial investigation showed that the management of an old Chinese private bank had the coins buried during the wars. After the discovery became known, police swiftly sealed off the site. Rare 6,000-year-old horn for more than 30 years, a rare horn hung on the wall in the office of a manager in the construction industry. The horn was unearthed during construction work in the city of Derby in 1980 and given to the manager as a gift. The man thought it was the task of a mammoth and hung it on his wall. When he posted the item on eBay, bids of several thousands of pounds were placed within a few minutes. He was also contacted by an American professor who told him that it was the 6,000-year-old horn of an aurochs. This species of animal became extinct in the 17th century. The owner, who is now retired and does not wish to be named, abandoned the auction. Whale Vomit Surachet Chanchu was looking for recyclable waste on the beach of Songkla in southern Thailand when he found the 37-pound lump of whale vomit that had washed up. He immediately noticed the color similarity to ambergris. 
ambergris is formed in the digestive tract of whales and is a coveted ingredient in products used in the perfume industry. Surachet carried the lump to his house and heated it with a lighter. The substance melted and released a pleasant odor, confirming that it was indeed the sought-after ambergris. A pound of ambergris can fetch up to 14,500 pounds if made of the best quality, meaning that this find could therefore be worth up to 536,500 pounds. At this time, Surachet is waiting for the government to assess the find. Experts state that the ambergris is formed by a secretion in the bile duct of sperm whales and solidifies after excretion in the ocean. It's possible for ambergris to float in the ocean for up to 100 years, maturing over time. Millionaire Overnight Sanun Wee Leitzer can rightly be called a lucky man. The discovery of two rare tanzanites made him a millionaire overnight. Lights have found two of the largest Tanzanites ever found in the Merorani Hills in Tanzania and sold them to the government. The stones weigh 9.27 and 5.1 kilograms and earn the lucky finder the equivalent of 2.9 million euros. Tanzanite is known for its blue-violet sparkle and is only found in the Manyara region of northern Tanzania. Since the state was losing up to 40% of its revenue due to the smuggling of tanzanite, President Magufuli made the decision to fence off the area, which is rich in mineral resources, and set up trading centers for purchases. Miners like Sanon Wilaitse can sell their fines directly to the government, and the state profits from the smuggling that has been stopped. The value of the gems was worth more than the amount Leitzer received, but the country will not resell these for profit. Instead, they will be displayed in the National Museum of Tanzania. The examples in this video show that anyone can discover treasure unexpectedly and in the most unlikely places. Perhaps you've already found something valuable yourself or know someone else who has. Please share your stories with us in the comments below.